Zoe is very late for a wedding and rushes there. She arrives, seeing her mother, Kath enjoying herself a lot. But then Zoe needs to disappear again, to take a phone call. Her mother is annoyed that she is always so busy with work. She takes the call outside and sees Kaz, her childhood friend in the treehouse. He disappeared from the wedding to smoke by himself. They are neighbors and have spent lots of time in that treehouse when they were children. The wedding is Kaz's brother, Farouk's. Kaz mentions to Zoe that his parents are happy that he is also getting married. Zoe is surprised and wants to know who the lucky lady is. He admits that he doesn't know yet, because he is starting the process of arranged marriage. Zoe is taken aback by this, as she isn't familiar with this concept. But Kaz reassures her that it has worked for many people and that it will work for him too. After the wedding, Kath tells Aisha, Kaz's mother how wonderful it is that Kaz has allowed her to choose a wife for him. Zoe will never allow her mother to choose someone for her. The next day, Zoe's bosses tell her how great her documentary was, but that her ideas for a new one are a bit depressing. They want something more heartwarming. Zoe has an idea of doing a film on arranged marriages in modern Britain. She explains that this is a good idea, as her childhood friend is getting an arranged marriage. She explains to them that these days arranged marriage is the parents suggesting someone who they think might be a good match for their children. They like this idea for her film and want to know if Kaz and his parents will agree to be in the film. She lies and says yes. But actually, Kaz doesn't want to be part of her film. She blackmails him by telling him that she won't tell his mother that he'd secretly been smoking in the treehouse if he agrees to the film. He asks her to meet for table tennis later. If she beats him, he'll be in her film. Later that day, they play table tennis, while Zoe expresses her concerns over arranged marriage. He explains that you learn to love the person you're with. Zoe beats Kaz, meaning that he'll have to be in her film. Zoe begins her filming by joining Kaz and his parents at the matchmaker. Kaz and his parents all have an input of what they want in a wife for him. Afterwards, Zoe interviews Kaz's parents. They had an arranged marriage and met on their wedding day. Zoe is editing footage, when her friend, Helena asks her to babysit her two daughters, while she and her husband go out. Zoe tells the daughters a story of Cinderella, which she has based on her own dating disasters. She ends the story by saying that Cinderella decided to focus on her own career. The next day, Kez attends a matchmaking event, hosted by M.O. the matchmaker. They are seated in groups and everyone finds the experience a bit awkward. Afterwards, Zoe expresses her concerns, wondering how this could work, as it's all a gamble but Kaz believes that arranged marriage is the right choice for him. Zoe wants them to go out, but Kaz has plan with his family, as it's Mother's Day. Zoe completely forgot and rushes home. Kaz is having dinner with his family, when his mother tells him the news of a match from Lahore. He isn't very excited, as he doesn't know what he'll have in common with someone from Pakistan. The next day, Kaz meets his potential wife, Maimana, over Skype. Kaz tries to make conversation, while Maimana is a bit reserved. Zoe films their awkward first encounter. They connect over their love for the mountains. When Kaz asks if she'd be willing to move to London, her mother appears and replies she'd be fine with it. It's evident that both their families have been present the whole time. The next day, Zoe takes her mother's dog to the vet. The vet, James asks her out, but she tells him that work is keeping her too busy. Later, Zoe visits Helena, who found out that her husband had been cheating on her. Helena asks Zoe to deal with the children. Again, Zoe tells them a bedtime story based on her own disastrous dating experiences. The next day, Zoe films Kaz at soccer. He tells her that he got engaged. Zoe is very surprised. He explains that he really likes Maimana and that the wedding will be in a month. Zoe is concerned about his and Maimana's age difference, but he assures her that she's very smart. Zoe asks Kaz if he really will be marrying a stranger, but comes to the conclusion that everyone actually marries a stranger. She knows that everyone turns out to be someone else, and Kaz can see that she's not all right. He wants to know what's wrong and Zoe tells him that she just had a very challenging week. He tells her that what she needs is a holiday in Lahore and she agrees. Some time later, Zoe meets with her mother, as they will be leaving for Pakistan. James comes over to pet Sit, who Kath is also trying to set Zoe up with. Kaz arrives, telling Zoe and Kath they need to leave earlier. They arrive in Pakistan. The two families meet, and Kaz meets his future wife. He is mesmerized by her beauty. He and Maimuna go to see a movie, while the rest of his family spy on them. Later, Zoe interviews Kaz and Maimuna, asking about their meeting and if they see themselves falling in love. They have slightly different opinions on that. The next day, Kaz takes Zoe to the bazaar, where he gets his fitting. They talk about how Princess Diana's marriage was also arranged. They pass a jewelry store, where Zoe and Kaz share a moment when he puts a necklace on her. Afterwards, they go to a coffee shop, where the waiter thinks they are married. But Kaz tells him they're just friends. Zoe is a little disappointed that he is so quick to say they are just friends. 
she reminds him that she was his first kiss, in the treehouse, but he seems to have forgotten. She wants to know what Kaz and his mother have been arguing about earlier. He tells her that it was about his sister, Jamila not coming to the wedding. Zoe wants to know why what she did is so bad. Kaz explains that she married someone non-Muslim, and it is haram for a Muslim woman to marry a non-Muslim man. This broke his grandfather's heart. Jamila and her husband had a baby, that the rest of the family couldn't even meet. That night, Zoe looks Jamila up on Facebook. James had texted her to ask her on a date for when she comes back. It's the Mendy event and the bride and groom look stunning. The dances start. Later, the parents leave and Maimuna is happy, because now the party can start, everyone is having a good time, but Zoe sees Maimuna arguing with someone on the phone. Suddenly, Maimuna seems much more extroverted and takes Kaz and Zoe to meet her friend and hairstylist. She offers them a joint and thinks it's lame that Kaz isn't accepting it. Maimuna leaves to dance, while Kaz feels the need to get away from the party. Kaz and Zoe see Maimuna dancing wildly and being very different to who they thought she was. Zoe and Kaz both need some fresh air and leave the event. Kaz hears singing and is excited to take Zoe where a group of men are singing. They sing about a powerful and dangerous love. One man sings with a lot of passion, while Kaz reminds Zoe that he had told her that love is crazy. They get back to their accommodation and Kaz admits to Zoe he didn't forget about their first kiss in the treehouse. Once in their hotel rooms, Zoe tries to text Kaz, but keeps erasing her message. She wants to tell him not to get married, but can't get herself to send it. Kaz is confused, seeing that Zoe is typing, but not sending anything. The next day at breakfast, Zoe asks Kaz if they can talk on camera. She asks him how he feels about getting married in a few hours and whether he feels nervous. But he says that he feels fine. Zoe keeps asks him if this is what he really wants and he says it is, but Zoe doesn't believe him. Then Zoe reveals what she's been feeling the whole time, which is that this whole situation is crazy. She doesn't want him to marry someone he doesn't love, as life's too short and too long for that. Then he asks her what she wants, but she feels it's not about her. But he tells her that his decisions have been questioned too much and maybe she should focus on her own choices. He explains that she actively searches for anyone who is wrong for her, but she thinks that's nonsense. He says it's her fault that she has had such bad love life, because she is the one who looks for the worst people to date. This is an insult she didn't expect from her friend. Later that day, Kaz and Maimuna get married, while an unhappy Zoe films everything. She is confused seeing the bride cry, but Aisha reassures her that all brides cry when they leave their families. Sometime later, Zoe and her mother return to England. Zoe again babysits Helena's daughters. She tells them the story of Beauty and the Beast. In the story, she refers to her and James as a couple. He wasn't her dream guy, but he was persistent. James overhears Zoe telling the story. One of the daughters says that Beauty was in love with the Beast, but Zoe corrects her, saying that she was in like with him. James seems a bit disappointed hearing this. Some time later, it's the premiere of Zoe's film and she feels nervous and excited. She meets Kaz and asks how married life is. He is settling in. He sees that Zoe had also met someone. She jokes, saying she followed his mother's example, which is the parents choosing someone for their children. Both of them ask if the other is happy, and they say they are, but they don't seem convincing. Zoe wants to warn Kaz about the film, but she is interrupted when everyone is called inside. Zoe introduces her film, admitting that she thought arranged marriage was an outdated idea, but she had seen that one can be happy with this. This makes her question her own troubled dating history. She knows everyone can learn something from the idea of arranged marriage. The film starts and Zoe is anxious about what everyone will think of the film. She grabs a glass of champagne and gets fresh air. Everyone is enjoying the film, while James leaves to find Zoe. He joins her outside and she wants to know how it's going in there. James reassures her that everything is going well. He tells her she's super talented. James wants to have a serious talk with her. He tells her she's the dream to be with and he can't believe he has someone like her. But he just cannot be her plan B. He tells her he wants more, but she says everything is fine and that's enough. He knows she also wants something more than just fine. So they break up. Meanwhile in the documentary, Jamila and her husband have been interviewed. Jamila expresses her sadness, knowing that her daughter will never know her grandparents. But she knew this was the price she had to pay to be with her husband. Kaz is shocked seeing that Zoe had interviewed his sister without his knowledge. Jamila regrets causing her family so much pain, but she believes we don't choose who we fall in love with. It's not always in our control. But she'd always choose him. After the film is over, Kaz expresses his disappointment in Zoe. Zoe feels bad, but tells him she was just doing her job. Kaz feels it's humiliating to show everyone their issues. Once again, Kaz feels how different they actually are. Maimuna is emotional, saying the film was beautiful. The rest of Kaz's family leave, all disappointed in Zoe.
Zoe's mother joins her, wondering where James is. Zoe tells her he broke up with her. She is very disappointed, thinking that he was finally the solution and was the best man she's ever picked. But Zoe reminds her that her mother had picked him. Kath is worried that Zoe might end up alone. Zoe worries that she's not enough being single. Zoe tries to call Kaz, but he doesn't answer. She texts him how sorry she is, saying she can change the film's ending. Memuna keeps receiving texts. Kaz thinks she should answer them, but she hands him her phone. Kaz sees romantic texts from another man whom she is still in love with. He is shocked and wonders why she didn't tell him. He wants to know what they'll do now, and she replies that they'll pretend just like everyone else. Meanwhile, Zoe has brought back someone random she met at the club, but cannot continue with this. Zoe ends another bedtime story with the fact that no one lived happily ever after. Happily, ever after only exists in fairy tales. Sometime later, Aisha shows up at the hospital where Kaz works. She wants to know how things are going with Maimuna. Aisha knows it takes time to adjust. She can sense that Kaz isn't happy. She reminds him that there is no love greater than that of a mother. She prays for his happiness every night. He tells her that he just wants to be a good son. Zoe's bosses, Ali and Sam left her a message, saying that they loved her documentary, but because she's a white director, they will have to put a pause on her film. The next day, Zoe is packing and wants to know why her mother is dressed up. She replies that it's Eid and she's joining the cons for dinner. Kath wants to know if Zoe wants to go with, but she knows she is the last person they want to see right now. Besides, she's off to Turkey for a break. Kath tells Zoe how proud she is of her independence and everything she's achieved. But she tells Zoe that we all need other people. She should try not to push people away. They hug, then Zoe gets a text. It's Kaz, asking her to check her emails. There's a video of Kaz and Memuna, who have to tell Zoe something. Meanwhile, it's Eden Aisha has prepared a great feast. Kath and Zoe arrive and Zoe urgently needs to talk with Kaz. Aisha wants to know where Memuna is. He admits that they are now divorced, because all they both need to say is, I divorce you three times. Aisha is shocked, because this is banned to stop people from making a rash decision. But Kaz tells her this isn't rash, because Maimuna is in love with someone else. They are done pretending. He wants them all to be honest with each other. He tells his mother that an important member of their family has been missing for too long. Jamila arrives with her husband and baby. Kaz comes out, asking where Zoe is, but Kath doesn't know. He is disappointed, not being able to find Zoe. She texts him that she's in the treehouse. He joins her. She is scared to put her heart on the line, but they'll take it slow. They kiss. In the end, Kath says she couldn't have arranged Kaz and Zoe being together, better herself. Aisha says she knew this would happen, as Kaz attended a mixed university. Memuna is also interviewed, saying she is fine. She is now a lawyer and her parents are proud.